So here's one of the most beautiful examples of this entity that I've seen in the last month or so. Now, if you look at these MR images, first you see that there's a large mass that's centered on the pancreatic head. It's multi-cystic, multi-loculated. It's the classic microcystic lesion, right? It's got multiple small cysts, most of which measure, let's say, under two centimeters in size, and they're really innumerable small cysts. And if you look at the post-gadolinium images, you can see that the lesion demonstrates some enhanced acceptations, but there's no big nodularity or dominant soft tissue component. Moreover, if you look at the MRCP, even though the lesion is large and occupying much of the pancreatic head, it doesn't necessarily communicate with the pancreatic duct, and the duct certainly isn't dilated. This is about as beautiful an example of a serous adenoma as you're ever going to see. Now, the one point I would make is that I think that this is one area where MR really shines. As far as I'm concerned, MR truly is a superior modality when you're trying to evaluate serous adenomas, and even in a case like this where even though this is a case where arguably it's not difficult to make the diagnosis on a CT or an MR, in smaller lesions where there's more need for evaluation of subtle findings, I find that making the diagnosis of a serous adenoma is just far easier on MR than it is on a CT.